Hi everyone, Katarina here. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Today I'm making a different version of a card that so many of you watched and liked and it was this one in here. So many of you left me beautiful, really encouraging comments, so thank you so much. I truly am grateful for all the support I'm getting. So this has been just amazing for me these past few days. Now, I would have come back before now, only I had such a disaster in my craft room. On the same day, both my die cutting machine and my heat tool just died. <laughs> so I had to go and order new ones and they've just arrived over the weekend so now I'm back to crafting again. So what I'm going to do today is I flipped the colors for this card and made this one in here. How gorgeous is this card? Okay, so you can see while well, this one had the white background with the colored flowers and this one I put the color onto the background of the embossing folder and left the flowers white except I didn't leave them plain I used embossing powder to give them a bit of a shine and this is the white pearl and I absolutely love how this turned out I really really love it now you can see there's a bit of a bulk to it because I uh, popped the top layer up on foam pads and also this flower is in a foam pad but this would still fit in a an envelope perfectly. The size of this card is 5 by 7 and I added that same embossing powder just onto the edges of the mat below the colored cardstock. And for the sentiment I used this little die, thanks. I used this exact same paper to cut it out three times, layer them up and added the... where is it? This one here, the clear gloss embossing powder on top of that, just for that little added shine. The sentiment die is from this little set that came with the die cutting machine that I ordered. It's the Gemini um, cutting machine and this is... And this little set of dies just came in the package amongst other few little things. So that's what I used. I think it completed that perfectly using the orange it on color brings the orange up to the top just for a bit of balance and I absolutely love how this one turned out too. So to show you, for with the same embossing folder I created two completely different looking cards and I didn't need any extra dies or stencils to, uh, to make any of these cards. If you haven't yet watched how I made this card, I strongly suggest you go back and watch the video. I will link to it below in the description box. Uh, a lot of people have really, really liked it and it just warms my heart so much. Okay, so for this card, I just went with a simple 5x7 card. Uh, but obviously this panel could go over a card like this or any other card that you like, you know. Um, I just wanted to create something different for this one. So what I'm going to... Be, oh, and just before we move on, I'm going to show you a different version that I made. I put this out to the side. You might notice the difference. Instead of using the embossed side of the paper and the flowers, I used the debossed one to create this here. Now I'm still missing a sentiment because I don't know who this will be going to but um, I don't know if this is my favorite. I, I definitely prefer the embossed look but there's nothing wrong with this one either. You might like the debossed look more. I didn't add any foam pads or anything in here, just load of glue. I think it even caused a little bit of a warping I need to straighten out. Um, this is still just freshly made so I'm going to put some heavy books on top of it and that will help straightening it out but what I will be making today is this embossed look I really like this one if you like more of the flatter debossed kind of a look it's exactly the same process the only thing you do is you flip your paper over and cut everything out on the other side okay so uh, so if anyone is interested the colors that I used on this background were the mustard seed uh, spiced marmalade and ripe persimmon. I hope I'm saying this right. Ripe persimmon. Okay. <laughs> okay, so today we are going to be working with salvaged patina, peacock feathers and mermaid lagoon. And these are exactly the same colors that I used in my previous video when I was making the card, this one. Okay, so this is the kind of color combinations we are going to go with now. 
So what I did is I took the embossing folder and it's exactly the same one I used before. It's the Peony Bouquet by Crafters Companion. I'm not sure if this is still available but I know that a lot of you already have this or this would work with any floral embossing uh, with any floral embossing folders at all. Uh, have a look through your stash, what you can find and work it from there. I'm actually quite tempted to try to find maybe a poinsettia one to use that because I think these are just absolutely amazing. So I'm going to find the side of the folder that is the debossed one in here because this is what's going to leave the embossed imprint on the card. So it's not the side that the writing is on, it is the back side of the folder. Okay. So I'm going to try layering up my inks now. Doing it this way is going to leave me with softer colors in the background as you can see it in there. They are not very strong uh, bold colors. If you prefer to go stronger with colors I suggest that instead of inking up the embossing folder as I'm going to do you should do your ink blending on the paper and then run it through and that would leave you with much much uh, stronger bolder colors for your background. Now I'm going to take the lightest color and this is the salvaged patina and I'm just going to add it on the top bit of the embossing folder. The next one is the Mermaid Lagoon. It's Okay, so and firstly I'm just adding the coloring in here and I'm not worried about the harsh line because I will come back to blend that all in, okay, like so. And the last color is the peacock feathers. I'm going to add this onto the bottom of my folder. So now this is all embossed and it looks just as I envisioned. I absolutely love it. I love how the white shows through in the cracks and nicks. I absolutely love it. But I said if you are looking more to go for a bolder colors without the whites and all that showing so much, just do the ink blending on your paper before you put it through your machine. And if you like more of this debossed look, then add your color onto the other side of the embossing folder. That's all really. Now I'm going to set this aside to let it fully dry and I'm going to take another piece of paper that I'm going to run through my machine. Okay so now once that's done all you have to do is cut out, cut all around the flowers or the leaves or anything it is that you want to use to embellish your card with okay and at this point I'm really really not worried about what way the edges look like and you will see why in a minute again I am linking to that video below for you to check out I have been giving information in there that I might not mention now so just go back and watch it if you haven't yet seen it it's really really is an amazing technique okay so just exactly the same as in the other video I am going to fit these back into the embossing folder and they uh, really nicely find their own places in there. Um, and this is why I wasn't worried about what way I was cutting the edges because I knew that I'm going to send them back and this will smooth them out nicely for me again. So I'm just going to send these all back. Okay, so once we put them through again, look how lovely and rounded those edges are again. Okay, so I'm just going to do exactly the same with the foliage. Here we go. Now, so the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to use that exact same embossing powder, the White Pearl Super Fine, to emboss all these embellishments. I'm going to take my Versamark uh, ink pad. So 
so now you can see the difference in the shine over that flower there so I'm just going to do this exact same process to every single bit that I have here and then I'll come back okay so now I have them all embossed and they are lovely and shiny I absolutely love how they turned out now I'm going to take this panel I think I'm just gonna give it a still quick quick blast with my Okay, so I've cut this panel down to four and a half by six and a half, and this one is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And this is going to give it that lovely border. Only I'm going to emboss the edges of this paper or cardstock with the, where is it? The, no, nope, where did I put Here it is. <laughs> with the white pearl embossing powder again. I have to say I really really love this embossing powder. I don't think I appreciate it as much <laughs> as I should have. I know I've used it before on some foliage for wedding cards but I never really used it as a, as a star of the card if you like and I think it really really is beautiful. So Okay, so I have the sides of this all heat embossed and I will come back to this piece of paper. For now I'm going to glue on the embellishments on these ones, the ones that are going to be heat, the ones that are going to be sitting flat on the card. And in here I'm just using a quick grab glue and this is acrylic glue, but Cosmo. Is it cosmic shimmer sorry I had to think harder <laughs> cosmic shimmer um, it's a really strong and nice clear drying glue I love using this one so now I'm going to try to wind this up here we go Okay, so for the card base, I decided to go with this lovely light blue color. And I cut my cardstock to 10 by 7 inches and then scored down in the middle at 5 inches. This will give me a lovely 5 by 7 card base folded in half. Now I'm going to add foam tape to the back of this one. Now I'm go also going to use some liquid glue along this here. This will just give me a little bit of a wriggle room to get this right on the panel. Really don't want to put this on crooked now. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to line this up as evenly as I can. Like so. This is looking good. Here we go. Now I'm going to take this largest flower and I'm going to pop this up on foam.
Mm, that looks pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So for the sentiment, I'm going to use that exact same one, the thanks that I used on the previous. Should I go with blue? Yeah, I think I will go with blue. So I'm just going to cut out three of these. Okay, so now I've cut these out three times and I'm just going to layer them up. Now just to add a bit of a shine to this and to lift it away from the background a little bit, I'm going to use the clear gloss embossing powder. So I'm just going to tap it in the clear embossing ink and sprinkle over the powder. You can see the top of the T and the bottom of the N managed to move it a bit. It's just the way I layered them up. I didn't intend to do that, but I'm going to use it anyway. It doesn't bother me. I don't think it takes away from it at all. So I'm just going to add some quick grab glue to the back of this now. And that's the card ready. All it is missing now is just a piece of cardstock. It's four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And that's this card ready too. Let me bring the okay, just let me bring this other version in here in comparison. So you can see how the exact same embossing folder will create two completely different looks you know there's so many ways that you can use one thing and as I said we didn't need any dyes or any stencils or anything else to go with this and there's the other two so thank you again so much for watching my video or uh, videos I really appreciate every single comment interaction subscription like anything at all I really really am so so thankful to you all so if you have watched this far, please leave me a comment. Which one do you like the most? Is it the colored uh, flowers on the white backgrounds or the white flowers on the colored backgrounds? I really love them all. I um, I just do. <laughs> I really love them all. I, I think it's this here that are still my favorites, but I absolutely love these too. You know, I can just imagine uh, so many other things I could do with this. I actually have a different kind of a technique for this version of a card. I don't know yet. In my head, it works perfectly fine. I'll see how it turns out when I actually try to make it. If it's uh, what I imagine it to be, I will share it with you guys too. So for now, thank you so much. And if you haven't done, haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell. I have so many other lovely ideas to bring to you. Thank you. Bye until the next time.